All right, man, I was watching a video, and I've seen quite a few of these videos where uh, where these dudes are flying out. Uh, these dudes are uh, flying out these women, these Instagram models. You know, um, they flying out these women, and uh, you know, and these women get to the room, and they not they not producing. All right, these women get to the room and they're not producing, right? And um, and they getting flewed out, you know. Shout out to that girl from the city girls who said that, oh, you getting flewed out, and they getting flewed out and they not producing. Now, my whole thing is that with everything going on in this world, right? One well, of my sons wanted me to talk about this too, and I sh I should have talked about this a long time ago, but it's this video on uh YouTube, right? And I ain't even, I just read the captions. I mean, it's on uh, Facebook. I, I just read the captions and shit, right? And uh, he, he, this dude, he, I think he black. He flew out this woman and um, he flew this chick out and he blurred, they blurred her face out or whatever. And, um, and you know, they blurred the chick face out or whatever the situation may be. And he said, me explaining to y'all, I flew this B out way, motherfucker from Indiana. You uh now what I'm saying, I've been talking to her. It's going fast. You feel me? I didn't spend damn near everything on her. She talking about she don't want uh, the F man. You got me, you mean, and I don't he just it's going so fast, bro. I wish I could pause. Oh, there you go. He said, first of all, you hold hold all you hold all, all hold on, hold on, hold up. Uh I spent uh first she talking about she don't even fly spirit, right? All right, no, the F I'm talking about, she don't fly spirit, no. Like, she like, okay. So he, he ran known or whatever. Matter of fact, I just play the audio. How about that? that that'll that make a lot more sense. Hold on, y'all. That's damn near 6700 last minute, right? Okay. So plus her bags, check in, all that shit. We go get her over all that shit. Then I'm getting there at two G's already. So we get here. First night, I'm being, I'm being a whole gentleman. I've been a whole gentleman. Have you not? Have I not been a gentleman to you, though? Have I not done anything? But you should have knew what it was if I fucking flew you out here, though. I don't want Lock him out here, then. What do you mean? So, y'all, this is the Instagram. I don't, you know what? I ain't going to be no petty ass. Put your name on there like that. Okay, so why the but you come halfway across the country, no, you don't want to. I didn't say you did. You know what it was, though. You know what it was. You want to spend money. That's I spent five G's on you. What you talking about? That's what you five G's. What you talking about? So look, she didn't get it. Oh, let me talk. Shut up. Shut up. Here we so go. We're about to go eat, right? So Shorty tomorrow, she's hungry. So Shorty, call him. Call him. Call him. Pack all this shit. I'll help you. I'll help you. Read. Pack all this bump. That's all this shit. That's all that shit. It's not even about the. It's not even about. It's really about the money. It's about nothing. You feel me? It's about nothing. So listen, we get off the fight. Let me tell the story. We get off the fight. Somebody, uh, you know, we went back to the room. She's like, I'm hungry. I'm all right. Well, let's let's go to a little restaurant or something. You know, I'm trying to get her something to eat. She's like, oh no, I only eat the best. I want some crab legs. That's for nothing. So we go to the restaurant. I speak down there. Order is steak. Motherfucking crab legs. I'm buying all that shit, though. Being a pure gentleman. You know what I'm saying? Being a pure, being a real. So, I spent them in five days on this shit already. Who you want to fucking leave? Yeah, you can go. Yes, I'll help you. Pack this shit up. So, we get to adjust to the video, right? All right. Um, And obviously, this dude's a gentleman, right? Uh, you heard him say it a thousand times. That he's a gentleman and all that, and he continued to be a gentleman. He they blurred out the girl face. He didn't say her Instagram name or nothing like that. Um, and you got to stop loving these chicks with your pocket. And my thing is this, dude. Uh, aside of going with the pockets and all that, bro, you better off just straight up tricking, dude. But that's what you gonna spend your money doing all that, bro. You bet you could have took the fraction of that money, like the bare fraction, and, and, and got a chick in your area. And popped her off straight up and down for the fraction of the money. For the, for I mean these chicks, I man. I was listening to this chick. She nice little chick on on Facebook, and she was like, "Well, these dudes, you know, these girls try to try to they try to do something in a certain type of way, you know." But they be serious and they say, "LOL, right?" 
They said, well, these dudes don't even court no more. Laugh out now, nah, right? And you always get these niggas on the uh, under the block court. And I do this, I do that, do that. Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. You know what I'm saying? You always get them type of dudes, right? And they only gonna court for you to put out. It's the same situation here. And my thing is, you for one, a lot of y'all girls feel uncomfortable having dudes fly across the country, hope for one, or flying across the country to dudes with all this shit going on. You got Uber drivers kidnapping people. You got girls, it's you know, trafficking and all this type of stuff going on. Y'all feel real comfortable meeting another flying across the country by yourself, meeting another dude that you've been talking about. Matter of fact, they feel comfortable with a dude flying to or traveling to their area, right? That you've been talking to, FaceTiming to, whatever, right? That you never phys physically seen for real in person. And y'all meeting up at y'all meeting up, you know, at the mall, or you coming back to a room that he paid for Airbnb, and you and you feel comfortable enough in his room, like you really, really know him. A lot of these women ain't did no background checks on these dudes. A lot of these women's uh, they traveling alone. They don't have a backup plan when something happened. I seen one instance where a chick flew out. She didn't want to put out. Dude put her out the hotel room. She ain't had no money to get back home. You know, an old girl was probably, could have been like seeing a nigga like, oh, I'm about to ham him and I ain't about to give him none. And she probably didn't even like to do it like that. And she just hammed him for some money, hammed him for a flight, hammed him for a room, right? Uh, and she probably said, I'm not going to fuck him no way. You know, that's pretty much what she what she was saying there. And, um, you know, if I'm talking on the phone in general, then, you know, I'm talking on the phone in general. And I know I'm about to fly you. In general, dude, like, you know, remember back in the day, they used to ask, like, what type of panties you wear and all that type of stuff. Remember that type of stuff? You know, to you know, all that type of, like, you and he didn't get to that point with her, dog. Like, like, you knew what it was. Like, bro, I would have articulated that. Like, you know, you, you know, when you fly out, you know, I'm about to tear that up. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to tear that out the frame, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of how I would have, like, uh, put it right. I don't want to tell that out the frame. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, don't be at the share scared. You know, talk that you talking right now. Don't be scared when you know when the tarantula come out. Some mystical, not no mystical type stuff. Not after all the stuff you're doing. That's the type of tip I would have been on. You see what I'm saying? Um, that's the type of tip, tough tip I would have been on. You know, you know, that's kind of the tip I would have been on, right? And if she would have like, oh, okay, you know, she would have played along. And she'd be like, yeah, 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 you know. But when I put this on you, don't be acting scared, man, like that. You know what I'm saying? I would have articulated that. You know. And that's how I would have played it. Like, oh, you know, you always play like that on the phone with a chick. And a lot of times, with, in my opinion, a lot of times, in my opinion, a lot of times, a chick, a chick would do it first. If she really liked you. A chick, a chick would do it first. If we, if we be a real, a chick, a chick gonna do that first, bro. Real talk, a chick gonna do it first. She gonna even let you, she, she gonna say something slick to you now. It's, it's up, it's up, it's up to you. It's up to you to, 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 to pick up on it. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. A chick would do it first to you. It's like, you know what I'm saying? If you're saying if a chick wants you to touch them, they gonna, they're gonna touch you first. They gonna let you know. Like a lot of times, dude, you know, if you're not interested in a girl, you won't see, you won't see the, uh, you won't see the signs. Real talk. I did it before. You really not interested in the chick. You know what I'm saying? You know, and she be throwing the signs at you, but you just not interested. You know what I'm saying? You know, and one day they get mad and they just be blunt with your ass. You know what I'm saying? And you will see it. But like I said before, like I always had them type of conversations with chicks, like. Like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm really talking shit, like, I'm, I'm going to throw a filler out there. Now, you got some things that straight up, that's going to be blunt. You know what you came here for? Oh, whoop -dee whoop whoop -dee whoop I didn't, I didn't even see, like, a bunch of chicks come to the crib, right? And a chick, I'm, you know, chopping it up with. And she's like, well, I don't do that. And I done had another chick say, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Go on there and do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I'm saying? On that type of tip. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like. You know what it is, but at the end of the day, you can't assume that they know what it is. This didn't happen on the internet to too many dudes already. Already, this didn't happen to too many dudes on the internet. Already. Why would you even play with it? I'm going to articulate that however we on 
Instagram Live, Facebook, whatever it is, on FaceTime, do Google do it. I'm already articulate that. I'm already throw them fillers out. Now, if she ain't biting on the fillers, dog, then I'm moving on. If she ain't trying to talk that way, I'm not about to waste another signal, another Wi-Fi minute, another network minute on old girl, straight up and down. I'm not going to waste another millisecond talking to her. So you know, now if she talking, she's talking about putting it out and talking greasy and all that on the phone, you meet her and she changed it up and she playing, then she seen you and she ain't even like you. She seen you and she ain't even like you. And that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of these women, man, they brave, man, flying across the country. And there's a lot of nut jobs out here. Y'all some brave individuals, bro. You better than me. You are better than me. There's some real brave individuals, dude. You know, it's like taking a chance when you, it's like taking a chance when you meet a dude, or you meet a dude at a restaurant, bro, or you meet a dude to pick you up, or you meet a girl to pick you up. That's a crapshoot. You don't know what they what they got in the car. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what they background, who they beefing with. You know, it's a crapshoot. And a lot of these women is putting a lot of faith in these dudes when they, when they first meet them and on a different tip and they and they kick and they got a relationship with them they put a lot of faith in them they moving these dudes in early you know what I'm saying they moving these dudes in early they giving them control they let them pick their kids up taking them to school it's, it's a lot of people moving too quick dude a lot of people like to be married under the year or in a year bro I mean. You could talk to somebody for 10 years and still find out something new. And then when you that intimate and that deep with somebody, you don't know what their credit look like. You don't know what their finances look like. You don't know the mistakes that they made in the, in the past years. None of that. None of that. You know, a lot of niggas, I was dating chicks when I was in college. didn't even know their last names, bro. Think about that. I didn't even know their last names. And people get married that don't know shit about people, family, medical history. What's that movie where my man uh, Seth Rogen got old girl pregnant on a one night stand or something like that? And they was like, like I said before, it's a, uh, it's wild. It's wild. <laughs> That's wild, bro. I'm sorry. I watched this video where the, the barber cut this face. Excuse me. It, he got a he had a, his girl come and kiss him, right? <laughs> but when he opened his eyes, <laughs> the barber was cutting his face. <laughs> he was ready to punch him, dog. I'm I'm drowning, dog. In my tear. I'm sorry, but like I said before, I put a lot of faith in these dudes, bro. It's a lot of it's a lot of a lot of faith, man. You get to know them people, they temperament, they temper. Um, it's a lot of make or breaks when you move with somebody and moving in with somebody. I'm telling you, dude, and let alone they people be moving hella fast, man. But that's just my little message for the day, man. I ain't with the flying no chick out and, unless I know you from college or something like that. That's different though. Or we used to connect and we know each other, but all that flying somebody out, I don't know your medical history. I mean, at the end of the day, he said she from Indiana. I have seen like chicks where they go off in the military, they go off in college. And they get married, and I know niggas then ran them down, bust them down. At a homie in college, she was talking to this chick from Milwaukee, and somebody warned me about the chick, right? Like, yeah, nigga, we whoop de whoop. So then, you know, some I seen it for the first, I seen it like the 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 uh, the dorm, the dorm dude. I forgot what they call him, like the the, the 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 elder statesman in the dorm and stuff on my floor. They they ran. We came from the club. They ran the bit. They ran her, right? And I tell my man some shit so he confront her about it, whatever. She crying. He get the chick pregnant. Check this chick also said he get her pregnant. I get to do the money for the plan B, right? I'm like, here, man. My man's for that, right? I got you. So he get the plan B. She take the plan B, right? Long story short, we sneak her in a dorm and shit. She she do all that, whatever. This might be another day. We sneak her in a dorm. So she on the phone with her. She got a whole boyfriend at home. She tell the boyfriend everything that's been going on. He forgive her on the phone. She fly back. We never see her again, bro. Her name was Atila. We never see her again. He forgave her right on the phone and flew her back home. It's, it's like, like, bro, you you wouldn't even understand. Like for a lot of dudes, that's a deal breaker. But hey, it is what it is, man. But uh, let me know what you girls guys think. Check the real one on one playlist for more videos like this. 
thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase the channel, hit notifications. We go live and drop video. And then you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. <laughs> hit the link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Um, yeah, I'm on uh all, all my social media, Twitter, Instagram, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts. But let me know what you think. Comment section, hit the link tree. You can find me everywhere. Don't forget, check out my Detroit channel, right on YouTube, Mercy Sports Talk, more sports music, news, and entertainment. Mercy Sports Talk. Peace.